We're going to go in here and take a look at my recording setup. It's a small room inside of one of my bedrooms. Just pink foam from Home Depot and cheap plywood. Okay, there's my only guitar. It's a Carvin. Got a pretty good deal on it. It stays in tune. Here's the symbols I've been using lately on my recordings. That's a Wuhan Splash and some hi-hats I got from eBay. Don't know what brand those are. I use those because the symbols on this little thing don't sound too good. This is a very old Boss DR550. Uh, the sounds are kind of outdated, but I know my way around it, and it'll do for now. Here's my Studio Projects B1 condenser mic. That's the only one I use. I had a dynamic mic around here somewhere. I can't find that one. Here's a Fostex DMT-8BL. It'll hold about five songs at a time. Been having this for close to ten years. Okay, here's a Crate guitar amp from the 80s. It's a G40C. The chorus with it sounds pretty good. It's a stereo chorus but the uh, distortion is not so great. I use that in about half of my recent recordings. For the other half, I'll use this Pod Guitar Modeler. Pretty much you can dial in what you want. Seems to work okay. I might use it for my next recording. Okay, over here, this is a preamp and compressor in one. I use it to uh, drive my microphone and keep bass and vocals from spiking. Just plug in and go. Under that I have a Philips CD recorder. Uh, that thing will only use 74 minute blank CDRs. That's how old it is. It doesn't even recognize the 80 minute blanks. Over here we have our Charvel bass. Uh, I think I've had that for about 15 years. It's really noisy. I need to get some work done on it. Well, that's about it. This is what I'll use for my next recording.